Well, today is International Women's Day, but we have a very special message from the parents' circle. We are 600 families who've all lost an immediate family member to the conflict. And we have this message because it's not coming out of the elections. That is the message of what is going to happen in the conflict. Nobody's talking about that. How are they going to negotiate? Are they going to get together? What are they doing? Nobody says anything about this whole situation and the violence continues. So we thought of what can we do that will be something to shock. And we decided with the help of, an, of a wonderful agency who work with us all the time on a pro bono basis to build this room. This is a room which is a monument to future victims of the conflict. And so we created a coffin, which is in a, a room two meters by two, with mirrors, so that when you look through a hole in the wall, you see hundreds of coffins, well, really hundreds of monuments, which say, we don't want you here. And that's really the message that we want to give. And we want people to vote for some for an alternative to the violence. It's not that we're a political party or affiliated to any polit political party. What we want is for anybody that comes into the next government to understand that without some form of negotiation, there will just be another war and another 2,000 people who will have a reason to hate from Gaza and another 70 families who will never be the same and whose heart will always be broken. So what, what can we do to illustrate to people that they could be one of these families? We don't want any more members of the parent circle. We want to prevent others from experiencing this pain. And so it's got to the point now where the message becomes stronger and stronger because you can never understand what it is to lose a child unless it happens to you. And we don't want it to happen to anybody else. Now, one of the saddest things is they never ask women, should we go to war? They never ask women, should we now have a ceasefire? Or maybe to invite us to the table to talk. So what happens? Who are the biggest victims of this whole conflict? Women and children. And we are not counted in. And it's time now to come to the table. It's time for our group in the parents' circle to have a voice in society and not only to be there during the war to look after the children and never to know whether they can run to a shelter or not. It is almost the saddest thing that I can think of is the women in Gaza who had nowhere to run in the war with their children and, and the women that lived in Sterot, a, a village on the, on the border of Gaza, also not having enough time to get to the shelter I heard such dreadful stories. And what came out of that? What came out of all of this war? Just more people who have no future. So if we can do one thing to prevent this, then that's, we've done something good.